Okay, hello everybody, Paul Richards here with PTZ Optics, and I wanted to tackle a uh, question we get a heck of a lot, is how do we host our live shows here at PTZ Optics? Well, we use uh, vMix, and we have a way of doing a desktop capture on um, our video conferencing software, be it Skype, GoToMeeting, or WebEx, and then we use something called virtual audio cables to take the audio from Skype and bring it into vMix to live stream to YouTube and Facebook. So I'm gonna go over all of that today. We also have a course completely dedicated to hosting your own live talk shows, which this video is part of. It's gonna clear up a lot of things if, if, if I'm leaving you, but I want this video to be about 10 minutes. I don't wanna go too long, but it should be enough to really capture what's going on here. So. First of all, let's start this from the beginning. One of the things you, you almost absolutely have to have is two monitors, okay? As you can see here, I have vMix on one monitor and my Skype on the other monitor. Skype for, for argument's sake here. It could be GoToMeeting or WebEx. Um, so as you can see, what I'm doing is a desktop capture on the second monitor, which is very easy to do if you've used vMix before. That's a very straightforward uh, process. And then I'm gonna use something called virtual audio cables to pump the audio back into vMix. So this is a software only solution. I used to actually do it a different way. I used to have an Intel Nook, a completely separate computer running Skype. And I would take the HDMI video and audio into a frame grabber and bring it into my broadcast PC um, and capture the audio and video that way. That's a great way to do it as well. Um, virtual audio cables is only for Windows. vMix is only for Windows. So if you're a Mac user, you might want to look at Wirecast. But um, this is a great way to host your own live talk show with vMix. Uh, just really quickly, here, um, let's see here. Here is my video conferencing software here. I'm going to bring it in as an input through desktop capture. Just going to slowly go through all of this again I'm gonna I want to bring everything in vMix well actually I just want to bring my output of vMix into my video conferencing software and I'm gonna do that with the external feature which I'll show in a moment we looked at that in our last tutorial um, and the external button I will show in more detail in a moment here and then that is now selectable as my webcam so my webcam is my output of vMix, so that way all my um, video conferencing participants can see the return video. Then finally, my audio as well, the speaker output of my video conference needs to be brought in to vMix so that I have that. And that's where I'm going to use the virtual audio cables. I'll show you guys how to do that. Almost forgot to mention, this is a two-part series. So if you just need to bring Skype into vMix, well, if you need to bring Skype to vMix, that's hosting the own talk, your own talk show. That's what we're talking about now. But a lot of people just need to bring vMix into Skype for video conferencing purposes to do really cool presentations. So there's two use cases here. In this video, we're talking about hosting the talk show. Okay, are you guys ready? Everyone with me here. So we're taking the desktop capture video into vMix for the video. We're using virtual audio cables to bring the audio from our, our video conference into vMix. And then we're sending the whole output of our show back to our video conference people so that people around the world can see when they're live and on, they're on the show. So let me show you the external button here. Um, okay, need to play this. So basically, um, at the bottom there, there's a little external button. And that's what initiates the external virtual webcam and it's normally set to 1080p I believe most video conferencing softwares only need 720 so it may be a good idea to just set it to 720 especially if you're streaming recording and creating a virtual webcam at the same time once you've done that you can now select vmix video in your video conferencing software so I'm gonna do that it's going to create a well it's just gonna show here I'll show you so you come up here, I have vMix video selected, I hit start video, and it's just gonna show these bars because I don't have external enabled. When I hit external, it's gonna do a windowing effect because I have you know, a desktop capture on a desktop capture, okay? But I'm gonna stay on this for a second because this is gonna finish up my, um, well actually, I'll go to virtual audio cables. So virtual audio cables is kind of essential unless you're going to go the PC route which I talked about where you have a completely separate PC 
running your video conference, you're taking the HDMI out, converting using a frame grabber, capturing the audio and video that way via USB. If that is the hardware way to do it. This is the software way to do it and it is the most affordable way, easiest way I think to do it because you don't have to worry about booting up or maintaining a second PC. You just get a nice powerful i7 PC to do all of this. So here's your virtual audio cables here. And uh, once you have them installed, they act, this is only for Windows. If you're using a Mac, look at Wirecast. We have tutorials for that as well. Um, basically what it does is it creates a virtual microphone, which acts as a, both a microphone and a speaker. So now we can select it as our speaker in Skype and our microphone in Zoom. And it works perfectly. And I'll show you how that works right now. So we're going to go into the audio portion of Zoom video conferencing here. And this is very standard. Every um, video conferencing software has a speaker option and a microphone option. Now, you do need two microphones to make this work. One for your broadcast and one for your participants to hear you on the far end. So the broadcast is usually the higher quality microphone, the nice microphone that you're using for your live streaming. And then the microphone going back to uh, your participants can be a speaker phone like the Huddle Pod Air here that we're using. You can hear me talking on it. You can see the levels there. Um, and then if we test speaker, which is, you know, go to meeting WebEx Skype, they all have this feature to test the speaker. Um, it will, in fact, I will toggle to this in a second to show you. So when I go to this, there's probably going to be a windowing effect. Yeah, that's not going to work. I will show it this way. Um, basically, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to add an input. Okay, I'm going to add my audio input is going to be my line one virtual audio cable. So that is how the audio from the far end is going to come in. And then I just select my secondary uh, monitor for video. So that is how it works. I'm guessing there are going to be questions about this in the links below. I'm going to create a more in-depth tutorial, but this is this is it. This is I'm trying to explain it the best I can. Um, you just invite people to the video conference. They join. The audio is being brought into vMix. The video is being brought into vMix, just like any other video and audio source. You live stream it to the world. And use virtual sets. You use different layouts, different great ways to host awesome talk shows. It's pretty exciting stuff, guys. Uh, if you have any questions, leave it in the links below. We also have a Udemy course completely on this topic, which I think really clears things up. Thanks for watching, everybody. Take care, and thanks for, uh, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, of course. We post new videos every week, and you can catch our live show every Friday, 11 a.m. Pacific, 2 p.m. Eastern. Thanks for watching this video, and check out everything else we have to offer as well.